So here we are, just living the dream. Every weekend, we come aboard our boat and we try and get as much boat work done as possible. Yeah. I think Mick feels like he'd be a lot more productive if um, we weren't all aboard. But oh, it's always like it's that. It's important to do this project yeah, together. For sure. I'd much prefer be to, together. to be a little slow on the work side of things and and I'll be able to hang out. So it's March this weekend. We mm -hmm. take over to March 1st in a couple days. And we've had four or five weekends aboard. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like a lot for the month of February. And our goals are, well, we have a deadline of May 3rd. The boat gets pulled out of the water. And then we're really hoping that we could move aboard in June yep. and spend the summer in BC cruising around. And then hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, the world is in a place where we can start heading south in the fall. I'm Kate, and this is my husband, Mick. Our kids, Thomas and Bentley, and my parents, Kevin and Shauna. We are three generations coming together to create the Cruising Marikee Project. Day number 642. Holy crap. It's the fourth or fifth day. I'm trying to just get fuel. Just getting fuel out, yeah. When we bought the boat and I said, don't put any fuel in it, I want it really low. And then when we saw him after that, he said, oh, I just put 50 liters. I just didn't want to run out. I'm like, 50 liters? Like, how much did you think it used? One of the first jobs, because we need to put new tanks in, because I don't trust the bladder, is to empty the fuel out and then take the bladder out and then get new tanks made. We the have these old tanks that all they've done is cut the lids off and put new tanks inside. It's the same thing with our water. And in this instance, they stuck a bladder in it. And it just, the bladder is not functioning properly and it's leaking, so it's not good and not something we can keep, but. And I pulled the top off the bladder and it was full. And I don't know how many gallons or liters it, it takes. It doesn't say on there. But I've taken out about 80 gallons so far. You got a new pump. Yep, I got a new pump. Works a lot better than the drill pump. <laughs> Those electric drill pumps are just <laughs> useless. Please don't get. And this was like 20 bucks, and the electric drill pumps was like 25. You lift this up, and it does these ones. Well, that's nice. It's filling. So... That does seem a lot better than the stupid drill. What? The drill! We tried to get working last weekend for like yeah. three hours. Cutting the bladder out. Uh, cutting... Well, we've been emptying it and we think we're near the bottom, so you're slicing the top because the way i get the pump in doesn't quite angle down so i just want to cut over this side so i can go straight down and that's the coating on the outside of the bladder it's like double walled thickness it's like really hard plastic and then inside that is the rubber oh. so i'm just cutting this away And then I cut a slot in the black. So that's just protective and then the fuel's in that black part. Now I have a piece of teak and I'm hoping that this will just drop down to the bottom of the bilge and I can see how much fuel's still in there. Ready? Yes. We're hoping for not much. We gotta be near the end. That's looking good. Yeah. Woo! Look at that. 
side. So it's getting pretty close. But now at least I can get the pump straight down in that to the bottom. After many, many, many diesel runs, we finally got the old bladder emptied and started cutting out the bladder piece by piece. It was a stinky, nasty job. Part of the diesel. Ouch! Yeah. That land on my spine. That was disgusting. Stinky stuff. Oh, the aroma of diesel. Good thing that uh, it's been low for a while because all this top section's dry. That's nice. This is the last bit of the tank. Yeah. The Gross. last bit. Oh, look at it. Congratulations. Thanks. I'm just gonna cut it into little pieces. Careful, whoa. Knife up at your face. Yeah. So I managed to get the uh, fuel bladder out yesterday. It took pretty much all day to pump the rest of the fuel out, which wasn't much. I think it was only about four gallons or something. But then to cut the bladder out took Pretty much like six hours, all in pieces. Our messy boat. Everything's a mess. Look at this guy. What's going on here? Hi. Mick is sitting inside our boat's original fuel tank. This tank hasn't been in use for many years, and when it failed, the previous owner cut off the top of the tank and placed that red fuel bladder inside. I'm sure it was a great fix at the time, but our plan is to move everything back to the hull and start fresh. The tanks were foamed in, so I cut the tanks away, or well, part of it, and now I'm digging the foam out where I can, and it's really not pretty. So this whole part here, in between the water tank and the diesel tank, water tank stainless, diesel tank steel, it's just all covered in foam, so I'm... Like a spray foam? Spray foam to hold it in. I'm digging it out. Because it's full of oil and grease and it's disgusting and it's mucking up our bilge and making it so water can't yeah. get to the bilge pump at the back of the boat. Look at the side of the tank as well. This is on the foam part. Just rusty steel from the oh. outside of the tank. The inside looks totally fine, but that's the outside. That's probably why they replaced the tank. Right. Well, this is a nice little spot you have here. I spent so many hours down here. Look how you fit in there. Yeah. I smacked my head a few times. It's foam full of black oil. Yeah. Stinks. Hey there, you're in a new build. Yeah. Good afternoon. And you have some new tools. What are you doing? Um, cutting apart the old water tank. Somebody cut a section of it out, the top again, and then there was two smaller tanks in here. But they left a few baffles in here. So I want to cut those out so we can get some bigger tanks in here. Guess what? What? You did it! There's about another four more of these sections. Did you have to go over the same spot over and over and over again? Yeah, I've never cut stainless steel with a grinder and I didn't want to burn the uh, blade out on it. So I kind of just eased it through and just let the blade cut through it rather than... Is your forehead okay? <laughs> What's on it? <laughs> a big red mark. <laughs> What were you wearing? Your headlamp? Yeah, my headlamp. Oh, wow. Mick, I'm doing dishes and we need more water. Hey. Can you do that for me, please? I sure can. That's one of my least favorite jobs.
You're welcome. Latch broke, and I thought the lock still might be able to go into the wooden part, but that's broken off as well. Um, I think I might be able to get a screw in there temporary, and then the latch will stop on that. So we'll see if that works. That's good thinking. You're so quick on your feet, Michael. It's very impressive. Oops. Hopefully that drill bit was wide enough. If the drills bit were not wide enough, the screw will split the wood. Oh. I think maybe you're doing something like this. I always prefer to hand bomb it in versus using a drill. What are you doing? Then you can feel fixing the door. How is that fixing? What's going on? We're hoping it'll lock on the latch. So the head of the screw, there's a bit of a groove here that it can go into. No? I was hitting the screw. So I think I need to pull it out a bit more. Like move it towards you more? Yeah. As I am turning the lock, it's hitting the head of the screw. So I'm playing a balancing act of trying to bring it this way without splitting the wood. Turn the key the other way, baby. <laughs> there we go. Did it work? Yeah. outside and I have to put them back in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's more secure than it was before. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Okay, let's go home. That's a wrap. Another weekend down. Nice tank. Thanks. This is the tank template I built for our water tank. There's a lot of thinking that went into getting just to this stage. I started off with cutting a hole in the floor of the boat and I cut it for what made sense and the biggest I could. So I kind of, I followed the, uh, the teak flooring and kind of the existing hatch, I extended a bit from there and then where the joists were, pretty much a hole that I knew I could cover. It ends up being about 120 gallons, which uh, I'm pretty happy with. And then I had to build this template to make sure that I could actually get it down the companionway stairs into the boat and then into the hole and drop it through. So you've done a trial run of installing the water tank. Correct. I don't think we got any footage of that, but we definitely we will get... Oh, we did? Yeah. Well, the big moment of truth is here. I'm going to go and get that tank. Wooden one I built and see if it fits. So show us what this becomes. So this, we are in my parents' basement. <laughs> this is Mick. a finished tank. So I picked this up a couple days ago. That's really, really nice. Um, he did a great job. We're very pleased. Seam, baffles through there. He did a fantastic job. He was super quick. But we have our drawer, our fill, inch and a half, the Your, vent. A drawer? Drawer. Draw. Oh, a draw. Draw. The draw. So, uh, glued onto that, there's a, a pipe that comes about a quarter inch off the bottom. What's that for? 
That's what sucks the water up. So the pump's connected oh, to that. Oh, the pipe goes all yeah, the goes way to the from bottom. the top yeah. to so, almost the bottom. Yeah. And now what I'm working on is, I'm gonna build a base for it. 